intern Adam here at the War Memorial live from Acoustic Christmas 08. And uh, it, you got everything under control there, Derry? Everything's good? Okay. We're, it's interesting what happens during a live show sometimes. There's like stuff jingles and stuff firing in the background. So Hi! Lady Gaga! I'm so it. happy to be here. I, uh, I'm looking at your hair bow right now. Yes. And I... I'm going to break your anonymity right now, Adam. Why? No! Please! I, what? Okay, go. Okay, I, I have to tell you that you and intern Adam have something to go right now. What? Well, Adam's bang is not real. I have an extension in. You do? But you know, it's because my hairdresser totally cut an inch off of my bangs yesterday and I freaked no. out. She's a doll though, by the really? way. Yeah. No. Yeah, she just went a little, she did a little too much. And I'm sorry. Pull on it? Can you pull on it? Just this pull is great. Oh, it's not going You can pull harder. Oh, really? yeah. Like that. I like pulling guys Thank here. You. You, you can feel free. I'm this is kind of exciting. This is, for me too. I've for been on too. the road for a long time. I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> so, can I pull your hair all night? Absolutely. I thought it was necessary for me to call you. Well, I'm my sorry. Bangs, I don't feel actually, bad. I'm not wearing a wig. Contrary, most people think this is actually this comes off, but right. I'm not wearing a wig. But sometimes my fans think I am wearing a wig. So just for just for reference, this evening, if I stage dive. Please do not pull my hair. It will not come off. This is all <laughs> Well, it's not all me, but it's mostly me. Who does your hair, by the way? I just yeah, think it would be cool to In Los Angeles. We, well, who is it, though? I don't, I don't give my we secrets. We want to call this. We want to know. So then, no Adam, secrets. I'm so no. I keep my creative secrets all to myself. But your bangs are fierce, and um, I'm enjoying pulling your hair. And um, we're just gonna keep pulling here and talking about music. Well, no, okay, back to you, not about me. I mean, I love talking about me, but let's talk about you because you're hot and you're awesome. Thank you. Okay, you have had an exciting week. Not only did you have Britney's record come out where you had a song on it that you wrote. Yeah. Really you exciting. You were nominated for a Grammy Award. I Woo Thank you. Yes. What, Best New Dance Track? Yeah. And you're up against Madonna. I know. Woo! I know. How do you feel? Rihanna. And Rihanna. Well, you know, I feel, uh, I feel really great. I, I, I feel like, you know... Whether I, I win the award or I don't, it's such an honor to be nominated, and um, I'm such a new artist, and this song just recently started racing up the charts. and um, Because it's phenomenal. Thank you. But we've been you know hustling for a really long time in, in this country to, to get it on the radio, and uh, because of you guys and Rich Davis here at the station, um, I'm, I have a top five record today, and I'm just really grateful, and... Um, I think I got. I think I could win. What? If I can get nominated, I could win. Okay, look. Let's just be real here. Do you want to win? Of course I do. Do you think you're gonna win? Um, I think I could win. Yes, I think I could win. So you're calling. There's me expectations now. at this point. What? You've got the expectation. There. Um, I, I, it's. I don't know if it's an expectation as much as it's. Um, I feel that I've overcome a lot over the past seven or eight years. I mean, I've been signed twice. I have been hustling since I was 15 years old. I've played clubs in New York since I was 15, like working my way up the scene, building a fan base. I'm just a dip, not your average pop uh, artist. So I guess what I'm trying to say is uh, having been signed and dropped and, and getting a record on the radio that nobody uh, thought could ever be a pop record, I think I could absolutely win. It's an amazing accomplishment. Thank you. Yeah. And amazing lashes too. Would you say? <laughs> I mean, seriously. You guys are the best. I'm hanging out of fear. You have are you to, kidding? You have to understand. If if you're listening to this interview, I want you. I want to encourage you to go to our website because Quincy is actually videotaping it, and you've got to get a look at not only the room. And I'm wearing whatnot, latex. We have no. Okay, can we, can we can we add an eight here. inch heels? Go in. Really? Take a look. They're long. They're. They can probably Adam, go get your eyes. I got to run these pants. Latex. How long did it take you to get those pants? Well, actually, when I first started wearing cat suits, which was about four years ago, <laughs> um, it took a little bit longer to get into them, and it's a whole process. And Do I you would, need help getting into them? Yes. Um, my, my librarian um, actually helps me out. <laughs> <laughs> She's oh. amazing. She um, travels with me. Her name is Ange, Ornament Ange, I call her. She's a really beautiful girl, very smart, and she takes care of all of my creative references for me so I can, like, design the show and everything. But she always helps me I get into my costumes, and um, uh, this particular cat suit I made, and um, I'm actually, like, quite good at it. I can get it out of it pretty fast. 
And on top of all of it, she's a seamstress. Yeah. I mean, close. Do you have a minute? Can you stick around? Because we have plenty more questions. Um, for sure! And we're going to play your song when we come back after this. You're going to spin it? Yes. Oh my God. I'm going to get on this table and dance. You're going to get like three cents right now. I, three cents. <laughs> Backstage at the War Memorial. Three cents in this game of things? That's a lot, that's a lot, of, that's a lot, a lot of cents. <laughs> we'll be back after the break. Stick around. Thank you so much for doing our show. I'm so excited to be here. Have you ever been in Nashville before? I've actually, I, I was just telling the guys that I used to come um, to Tennessee uh, for... Um, Bonnaroo. Bonnaroo. Oh, wow. I used to come to festivals. Um, you know, I would be in Nashville or I would be in Cookville nearby. Right. And um, I used to be naked in fields for long periods of time. With all yeah. my friends. Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah. You could, have, you could have caught me at the Beck concert, like quite incoherent oh in the front row by myself. I was just sitting here thinking, oh, this is going to be the, you know, the radio-friendly version. <laughs> oh, no. Like, yeah. I Maybe totally God, I should have not even expected that. No, it was really, I used to have the best time. And I was totally that girl that was like, my boyfriend's up in the front, I'm sorry, like, fishing my way all by myself, like, totally alone, screaming at Beck, play Deborah, like, screaming. I swear he heard me. I saw Radiohead too. What best Radiohead in Tennessee? I never. I. It was like a, a, the apocalypse. It was the best. I don't think I would survive. Let me. Let me. Ask I almost you this. didn't. We've been asking all the uh, performers tonight. Yes. Well, first of all, how long do you take? I've been down for like eight more hours. So you can't go out tonight. Um. Well, I heard something about an '80s party, and like you know, anytime there's anything retro going on, I'm usually there. There's a lot of stuff going on downtown tonight. Really? Yeah, we think maybe you should hang out with us. Okay. <laughs> she just twist your arm. Let me hold on, twist it. Yes. I'll, be I'll wear the coat. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I have to ask this because I'm kind of like the gossip guy for the station. I'm kind of like the yeah. Perez Hilton for the river. Okay. Okay. Oh wait. Da, da, da. Oh come on. The label's giving me the eye right now. Um, when it comes to your style, this whole Christina Aguilera battle, are you sick of it? What do you think? I mean, people say that Christina's copying your style, selling your style, but what do you actually think about all that? Um, honestly, it's, it's, it's hard to say because I am very good friends with Perez, so I'd like to believe everything he writes. Mm -hmm. Um, but on the other hand, um, I have a tremendous amount of respect for her, and I think she's really incredible, very talented singer, and, uh... I don't think she copied me. I just think that uh, it's a small industry and everybody kind of knows about each other. If anything, I'm really flattered that I may have inspired her. And uh, I don't, I'm not like mad about it, if anything. I think you pull it off better. Oh, pull up. Listen, I'm not pulling off anything. I've been dressing like this. <laughs> okay, wrong choice of words. Hi. Oh my god. I'm just saying. I just, no, but, no, but I'm just Open mouth. Oh my god. Instant he's like, but, he's oh biting my, my hand. Adam's blushing. Get us out of here. No, let me, just, let me explain. I dress like this all the time. Ask anybody that knows me. You know, it's so good. I'm not in costume. I don't dress like this different for stage. And then when I go out with my friends, I dress different. I am who I am. I'm from New York. I'm from, I'm a club kid from the Lower East Side. I've been doing this since I was, you know, a 15-year-old, you know, crazy pants in the city. And, uh... My fashion is my lifestyle, so it's like, it's not a look for me, it's like, it's like in my bones. You're beautiful. Talented, I mean, loaded with personality. I'm just loud and bossy, I think. Well, that's your New York attitude, you know? <laughs> Lady Gaga, backstage, check out the interview online, see Adam Blush, check out the latex and all the fun. And the hand biting. Five, the river I didn't bite your hand. You bit my hand. I did not bite your hand. teeth marks. Really? There's teeth marks. There's teeth marks. 107.5, theriver.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow.